It is Friday. Welcome back to another edition of 5 Minute Fridays. If you're new here, my name is Kevin, and here at my channel, every Friday we look at a cool CSS tip trick, fun thing you can do, and we do it in under 5 minutes. This week, we're going to be doing something like this, where we're going to take an image and put it inside the text, and surprisingly, it's really easy to do, and browser support surprised me how awesome it actually is for this. In fact, this one is so easy, I think I can pull it off in way less than 5 minutes, so let's hit that clock and get started. All right, so here we are in CodePen. So as usual, the link to this will be down in the description below if you want to come and play around with this yourself. Now, for this all to work, all I have here in my HTML is an H1. There's nothing else going on in here. I just have a few styles here, but it's pretty much just to center my text in the middle and put a font on it. For this to work, in general, I'm going to suggest a really big font size and really fat, bold font. It will work better like that because you'll actually be able to see your image and what's going on with it. And if you use a thin font, or a small font, it's going to be hard to see the image. It might make your text really unreadable. So the bigger, fatter your font is, the better success you'll probably have with this. Now, uh, with all that out of the way, let's see how we can actually do it. And we do it with first setting a background image on the text itself. So you're not doing this on the parent, you're doing it on the text itself. And I'm going to use a placeholder service called Unsplash It. So to use this, all you have to do is, whoops, HTTPS. Um, go to, uh, we're going to go to on splash it, and then you put the dimensions you want. So I'm going to try 800, let's just see 800. I'm going to leave it like that. If you do one number like that, it will be a square. If I put another slash and change it to another number, um, it'd be the width and then the height afterwards. So with that there, I'm also going to do a background size cover on this just to make sure that it's always covering all of my text and it's not repeating. And now's where it gets interesting. I'm going to use the background clip property. Now, background clip can be used for more than just this. It can change how my background is clipping. You have a choice of um, content box, padding box, or border box, and it's going to change right now or normally. It will Your background, whether it's a color or an image, will go all the way out to the padding. I can change that to just be the content itself or some other behaviors, but I find the most useful thing here on it is text. Now, one thing is nothing changed. This is one of those annoying ones that uh, even though CodePen comes with an auto prefixer, in this case, it's not auto prefixing this and WebKit background clip text and now it is clipping to my text. So what this is doing is it means the background, whether it's a image or a color, but the color would be kind of useless, um, it's following my text. It's only visible where my text is. But because it's a background, the text itself is covering it. So that's obviously kind of annoying and it defeats the whole purpose. But all that means is I can come on here and say color transparent makes my text disappear and I can see my text, uh, the image come through on my text now, which is exactly what we were after. You could use an RGBA value in here as well to go for like a semi-transparent if that's what you're also after. But I think most of the time you'll probably just want to go with a fully transparent color on your text so you can really see that image uh, nice and clearly. And one last thing, uh, browser support for this is fantastic. It's really, really, really good. Um, it depends. I know on Firefox Nightly, which is my development browser, I don't need the WebKit on here. Uh, so it will probably be phased out with time as well. But as you can see right now, I do. Uh, if I didn't include that, the whole thing breaks. Um, so for the time being, you will want to be prefixing it and just test it out in your browser and some other browsers as you're going to make sure that it's working properly. And that's it. Easy peasy. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about it, uh, leave a comment down below. If you have any suggestions for future 5 Minute Fridays or just for videos in general, I'd be glad to hear them. Have an awesome weekend. And until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.